All right, what's up, everybody? We're back with the third edition of the member cast. I have Billy Beckman, third place, lost 19 pounds, got super jacked. Looks like he lost some chest hair from picture one to picture two. And <laughs> I love what you wrote, uh, the thing that Danny sent me uh, that we had went through whenever it was about pushing mentally and physically and just that you basically have no limitations now after going through this, like that they are undefined. I love that yeah. because yeah. – that is not how most people think, Billy. So talk about two things out the gate. How you originally found either myself or Max, um, how long you kind of been around, and, and, and then into this year's contest, what was the difference maker that kind of sent you on to where now you're on the podium, my brother. Feels good. Feels good. Uh, how long of a podcast you got? <laughs> hey, hey, it's all right. Uh, so, I mean, I was a – kind of common theme I feel like with a lot of the members man I was an athlete my whole life uh big time baseball player um you know dream was major leagues I tried to push as far as I could went and played a little college ball uh junior college um didn't work out but hey such is life um so got away from that relative married relatively young had children really young uh, I mean I'm well me and you are the same age I think I'm 43 about to turn 44 Yep. Uh, my oldest son, we're going through graduation process with him right now. That's uh, crazy, ain't it, Billy? Oh, man, dude, life comes at you so fast. I know. So yeah, fast. My son, Way too fast. Soft, my son will be a sophomore at Ohio State next year, and yeah, I'll be 46, so I'm a little bit older than you. But okay. yeah, it's, it's kind of wild when you're like, wow, you blink, and they're graduating high school. Man, crazy. And that, they warn you, but it's never enough warning. Trust me. Yeah. All you new dads, uh, Danny, I think you're a new dad, uh, so it goes too fast. Don't don't take any of it for granted. Trust me, man. You'll always look back and have regrets no matter what you do. But anyway, I was, uh, you know, I was a hard, really hard gainer. Like, I mean, powerlifting and stuff when I was in high school was kind of like a new thing. We had a little club. I, I joined up with that a little bit, messed mess around, um, but never took it serious because, it just wasn't something that was really published out there like it is now. I mean, my son, his age group, I feel like they're all about the gym life, they which are. is awesome. And I love showing him the things you've shown me or that I've learned from watching you. And now he's watching me and seeing it rub off. He's in here making his lunch right now. So that's awesome. Um, <laughs> he probably doesn't want to make an appearance. But I was working a uh, stop and really got away from really activity. I mean, I was still doing like recreational softball, stuff like that to fill that competition niche. But I wasn't doing any type of workouts and um, going from a guy where, with a crazy metabolism, graduated high school, six foot, about 160 maybe when I was soaking wet, to all of a sudden looking at myself and be like, why do I feel so uncomfortable? <laughs> Something's not right. It's right. Why is it feeling Yeah, I was way? like, what's going on? Like, I never had a belly in my life. And uh, I was just like, I think that's the problem. <laughs> so... That started my journey back into like fitness and doing stuff. I, I jumped into the keto. That was the hot thing then. And looking back now, I'm like, man, I look like a, I basically look like a cancer patient. I was like, I was just all skin and bones. So there was nothing there. Like I, I dropped weight like crazy and, you know, and I just didn't, I still didn't feel good, but yeah. I looked better. Um, jumped on some, a buddy gave me a, an app workout. It was, I think that beach body stuff. So started doing some of that there was a dumbbell workout in there and I was like, this is kind of cool. Like I, I can see muscles. I yeah. never really saw like muscles. And then there's a guy that I work with, uh, Matt Jasper is his name. He runs a fit. He's got his own fitness industry. Now I, I think he attributes some of that to you as well. And he was, uh, say that, that name sounds familiar. Was he, he was a member, huh? Yeah, he was a member and he placed, yeah. uh, I saw, that's what I saw the pictures he posted of him. And I think it was his brother. They both did a contest, I think in 2019. And uh, I was like, dude, tell me about this. Like, because another one was like, you should see him, man. It's crazy. Like, he'll, he was basically in that unicorn status. So he, she was like, he'll crush like a whole thing of donuts on Wednesday. And then he's just ripped. And I'm like, I want to know about that. <laughs> so that sounds like a dream. So that's what hooked me up to Max Effort. He told me about you, your lunge all that stuff. And I, I jumped in the app, man. And it was pretty much a wrap from that. I joined the contest that year. Um, it was when COVID hit, you had the dumbbell shreds, which was perfect. I mean, I had some dumbbells. I actually went out and got some more, which was hard because it got crazy with trying to find weights at that time period. Did that dumbbell shred, started the lunch drink. And man, I tell people all the time, I said, you just start. That's the hardest thing, man, is just starting. Because once you do, like after about, 
I'll say 30 days. It takes a while to build a habit, you know, and but after like 30 days, it almost became like now it's like an it's almost an addiction. addiction. Yeah. Like it's like I've got to find the time to squeeze something in, even if, if the crate. <laughs> I call you guys crazy maniacs with that 4 a.m. stuff. I'm like, that's 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 just that's just staying up late. The cops are always pulling the guys over, and they're wondering if they're getting up or they're still up from the night. Before. Yeah, it's in that it's in that kind of like that weird time frame for sure. That's what I tell them. I was like, I mean, I can do the 4 a.m. no problem. I just stay up. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm a night owl person, so I'm an afternoon workout guy and uh i always say i'd i'd, I'd it's better for me my workouts I, tr I tried the morning stuff it just didn't work for me like i i didn't feel as good i didn't feel like i got the results i i would get with uh working out in the afternoon or in the evening like i'd love to work out at 10 o'clock at night i tell people that all the time they're like you're nuts you how you go to sleep i said it's fine like i'll be fine <laughs> so but that's that's the big thing about getting the max effort and then i think the second thing you were asking like what switched it for me this year yeah um well, the first year I did pretty pretty well. Like I was pretty proud of what happened to me. I mean, I saw that body change and everything. So I liked having that date on the calendar to push for and everything. So I always love it. And then uh, I took quite a few different approaches to this contest. A few times I did it. Uh, one year I was like, maybe I just got to get fatter before it. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that to anybody. That was not that was not a good idea. So uh, I, I'd, I had the most fun bulk I ever had over Christmas. You know, my mom and family they're their love, love language is cooking and baking. And you come over like, Hey, I'll make you some cookies. I'm like, Oh mom, <laughs> I want them so bad. But, uh, but this year's difference was I really just, I locked in. I mean, I've locked into the pillars before, but the busy diet was huge. That really jump started me after coming out of that holiday season. I didn't go as crazy on being stupid through the holidays. I mean, I was a lot more loose with the rules and everything, but I mean, I still followed AF 101. Um, I mean, holidays can get us all, uh, everybody's right. together having a good time, yes. but the discipline, this thing teaches you, it's like right now, if I want to know that I can get back to 185 shredded, I just do that. Like, it's Once just, you know, you know, Billy. It, yeah. It's, it's insane. Like, it's kind of what I say is, uh, everybody thinks you need to be given the tools to do this stuff. You have the tools. Yeah. You just need to know how to use the tools. It's like, I can't just go build a house. I'd suck. But I know what I need to do it. I have the stuff that to do it, but I need somebody to show me how to start. Man, that's that's a great takeaway because I feel like that's the thing is uh, at this point, um, it's been proven so many times, right? And you, you really, Billy, are almost like the perfect client for myself because if you were an athlete that played a level, especially high school and college, you know what it takes, right? You know what it takes to, to, to get playing time, to get better, the habits. When you could tap back into that same kind of value system that made you an athlete with this and dates on the calendar and prizes, which are, you know, your quote unquote, like game days, it's like, yeah. I think there is like, and I think my processes make a lot of sense for people that already have and possess that. But once again, a lot of people want to do two or four, two or three of the pillars or one of four, and I'll just won't lunge, but I'll do this. But there is this unbelievable kind of synergy between them all when they're all followed, which then continues to create results like I'm seeing on my phone right here, which is you can't see because it's all brighted out, but it, which is your, your ass looking shredded. So <laughs> it's like one of those things where I think through the member cast process as I'm interviewing people that have placed, have been around, is really trying to figure out how we can take the customer or the potential customer that's watching this and going, eh, I hear, eh, you know, but it's like getting them on that next spot where they just go, I'm just going to try. And you said it, starting is the hardest thing mm -hmm. because it's zero to one is so difficult, right? But once you kind of see a little bit, did you see enough results with the busy diet initially? Do you think that, that is maybe a better path for people if they're like, fuck it, I'm in? Because you know it's like more extreme, but is that really, I'm asking this selfishly for myself, like is that more what I need to lead with because they're going to get a better reaction and then can go into the lifestyle more so? You know, you know what I'm asking? Yeah, uh, wow, that's a pretty hard question. Um, Cause I, I believe I already had the discipline in place. Um, I've kind of, 
got a little bit of a little crazy in me. I think we all kind of do that. Especially if you're going to lunge on a streak like this and, and doing that. I mean, everybody looks at you like, like I mean, I weighted chest around my neighborhood and people are like, you're going to kill your knees. I'm like, you don't know. Like and, your knees uh, hurt because they're weak. My it's knees always the number one thing. They, they, it's number one thing you always hear. Oh, my knees would hurt so bad. I was like, actually, your knees will feel better. Give it a try. There and I go. just keep going. Yeah. See you later. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> but then like you know i listen to david goggins and all that junk and i'm like man i ain't even on the level i could be and so pushing myself for other things spartan races all that so it's like you learn that discipline from doing and starting like you talked about so i don't know because i don't know if i did if if i first started with you and you had the 21 day busy diet i don't know if i would have succeeded yeah because i don't know I asked, because that's why i wonder like i'm trying to figure out what's the best path to get guys like yourself because i think it's interesting, like the bulk of my uh, clients, customers, you know, people that pay attention are, are exactly what you explained, Billy. A good a, a good athlete that kind of got out of shape, didn't recognize themselves, has the tools tapped in and now is getting that type of result. And yep. so, you know, but yeah, it's not a quick fix. See, and no. I think that's what I'm trying to get across by the members cast stuff is that this is really what it takes. But if you really go all in, that you can have a whole different lifestyle and yep. have a whole different metabolism and yep. be eating donuts like your buddy was on Wednesday <laughs> and get away with it. Like there is a holy grail to this thing if you put the work in and yes, you are gonna be different than everyone else and people are gonna think you're slightly crazy, but then you're gonna be able to live slightly crazy and get mm -hmm. away with it because yeah. of all, everything in motion. So that's really what I'm on, I'm on a kind of a, with this uh, type of content, I think I've been needing to highlight people like yourself uh, for a while. This gives me the ability to do that, but also to maybe hopefully uncover how we can help more people get locked on. And this isn't yeah. for everybody, bro. I, I know that. I've known that about me specifically for a long time. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. But the right. people that we can reach, I think we can make a huge difference um, like you have. So yeah, I, one, I appreciate uh, you spending the time going through the process like this. And then there's definitely something you'll say within this interview that will spark something on somebody that's already on the app and watching yeah. it there or has never heard of me or you ever and will hear it and go, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to give this thing a run. <laughs> yeah. And it's, um, there's a lot of conversations I've had with people cause it can be intimidating when somebody's like, yeah, I do 400 meter lunges every day. Yeah. You know? So like, I always say that, like they're asking, they're like, how much do you do? And I tell them, I said, but listen, that wasn't day one. I didn't start day one like that. I know a lot of people say, just jump in and go. I started, I was like, you know what? I'll give this a try. I started, so when I started with it, the gym had a track upstairs. It was, I think, a tenth of a mile around. As I asked the desk and I was like, so I need to see what this is like. Like, what's this distance of lunging? Like, you know, because you don't, you don't realize until you do it, like how, like you think quarter mile, it's just one lap around Everybody the track. Thinks, oh, I got that. And then they get yeah. 100 meters and their legs are blown to the max. Yeah, so I went upstairs and I, I just started doing some lunges. I did, I think it was 10 steps. I did 10 lunges. Then I do 10 steps, 10 lunges, 10 steps. And I did it for about three laps around it. Man, my legs were, it, it was bad. So I was like, I'm going to keep doing that. And then I'll just up it. So I did that for, I think, like a week. And then next thing you know, I'm next thing you know, I'm doing 400. It really didn't take that long. I finally got to the point. I was like, you know what? I'm just going. Legs yep. be damned. Like it's, it'll be fine. That, that was kind of part of it. Adapt, adapt after, you know, 12 to 30 days, like you said. Yeah. Yeah. So it was like, so that's why I try to tell people, it's like, you don't have to, like, just because these, like, you look at the people, like, I know for like you, if I wanted to look like Corey G every day waking up, he didn't do that yesterday. Like, I haven't done anything. That's what my wife actually was just really, really cool. It makes me feel really good. Like, that's the type of stuff that, I wish I should be better at sharing successes and stuff on social media because I've had quite a few people say stuff and I just, sure. I'm just not good at it. We're not from that era. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've adapted to it, but yes, I, I agree. It's not, it wasn't like, I was always a pretty, um, like I was never really an introvert. I always never really minded kind of like talking and doing stuff. So it wasn't really that hard of an adaptation for me, but the yeah. reality is for most people at our age, it's, they're like, they see a camera, they're going the other direction. <laughs> Yeah, you know what I mean. So, but there is an impact though of when you fight through that, Billy. To your point, that it does shed some light for other people. And now you're getting that personal interaction like that. Obviously, yeah. people. That's why I wrote that article a long time ago, or did a daily fire on 
the sauces in the circle like are around you, like you can impact the people around you way more than you realize just by you taking on a new disciplined role like within your friend circle, people, they get motivated by that, which is I'm sure what you've seen. Yep, yeah, 100%, like, uh, cause my wife, she used like, when will I see results? I'm like, uh, <laughs> I'm like, you just started. So she started doing actually, she's, she does like uh, sets of lunges. She's, nice. she does that. And then she asked me for some like uh, dumbbell routines, which I don't, that's why I'm with you 100%. I'll be honest, like if I walked into a gym without any programming in place for me, I, I would be lost and I would be confused and I'd walk out by, I'd maybe hit two exercises and be like, okay, I don't know what else to do. I'm out. You know, so I was like, so trying to do some programming for her, man, that's hard. So I was just like, here's some workouts I've done. You know, she wants to hit yeah. her shoulders and back and stuff. And I'm like, here's what you can do. Uh, I said, the lunges are going to make a huge difference anyway, if you just keep up in those with your, your, uh, as your body adapts to them. So it, it's pretty cool. And it's like, you got to unbreak a bunch of habits that you used to have. Um, took what, you, helped you do, what helped you do that? Because obviously you had these disciplines younger. It got away from you a little bit. And then what, how do you like then try to break some of those things that you know are contributing to the opposite direction? Uh, I think that's another big part of it, Billy, is like, okay, I'm set in this way. It's obviously not the result I want. But I need to start to break some of these things, drinking on Tuesday, not saying you were doing this, but a lot of people are having alcohol during the week for no reason, eating pizza, going to a happy hour. There's like a lot of these things that are intermixed in people's lives, which are contributing to these things that do not help the situation. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's hard for them to break. The biggest thing that helped with this is like you built the diet basically to make you successful with whatever habits you had, in my opinion, because like... Yep. If I know on Friday I can have my cookies, like, yeah. it's okay. Like, because if I want to feel good, look good, like, and then the mental aspect of it, like, a lot of people miss on what the mental aspect of, of this type of a lifestyle does for you. And that's the number one factor for me, like, how much more it makes me feel. I'm not, I'm a very positive guy anyway, like, just in yeah. general, like, that's people. I mean, a lot of people, if you talk to them, they're like, man, you just always have a good demeanor about you. I'm like, I have my days. Like, don't, there's days where I'm sitting there and I want to cry about something, but for the most part, I'm a happy dude. Like, yeah. uh, but the mental side of it, of like just feeling good about me, life, like, I like to, I tell kids in the gym all the time, they're like, man, it's been a rough day. I was like, yeah, but he goes, this is, this is, I really didn't want to come to the gym. I said, I'll tell you 100%. I've never went into the gym and left and said, I'm glad I did. I wish I wouldn't have went in there. I said, I always leave saying, man, I'm glad I got that work in and just feel better. Then all of a sudden, man, the rest of the day is a good day. So that's missed a ton on it. But the biggest thing, like I said about the, the switch of it is just the example for life. Like I was having some I was diagnosed with having some sleep apnea and stuff too. It wasn't serious or anything like that, but my wife told me, she's like, you scared the crap out of me. And I was like, well, I, I don't like that. So that was part of my weight loss journey too. Yeah. So that's like the number one factor. I was never, I was never like a really obese guy or anything, but I was like, it's worth seeing if that's the problem. It was obviously that, affecting you. Yeah. So like that is a big reason why is like you wanted to hurt now or later, like one way or another, like I, and it's the, it's the, it's the closest thing we'll get to the fountain of youth, hundred yes. percent. Like I, did, I was shocked when I found out we were like the same age, to be honest, you know, and now people tell it all the time. Like we were posting pictures and stuff with my son for graduation. And, and uh, my wife's like, look at this comment from this. She's like, and the lady said, how come let's talk about how his parents never age. And I was like, oh, we're vampires. That's such, <laughs> a great, that's such a great compliment too, Billy. It's you know, huge. But what people don't understand and what I started to understand is that you know, the bodybuilding lifestyle in general, right? You're eating uh, food that doesn't cause inflammation most of the time. You train on top of that, you're taking care of yourself, your moderation on some of the vices. It, it's really just a strategy for long term. I think the other thing is, is, you know, if you're watching this and you're like, I don't want to take this away, I don't want that being taken away. No one said you can just go all bets off and all the stuff that you're not supposed to do and you're gonna get a result that's gonna make you look and, and youthful as you get older. It doesn't fucking work that way. Yep. You have to put some intention around, I still wanna take part in some of these items, but I can't do them on Tuesday for no reason. And I actually have to train on Wednesday and I shouldn't eat fucking sugar all week. Like it's just, <laughs> but once again, I think it was mostly what I was trying to wrap was a lifestyle that said, okay, 
if 90% of the time I can brainwash myself to do what I'm supposed to, because I know I'm going to go smash some Guinnesses and eat some wings and eat some ice cream. Like if I can't follow for four and a half days, I fucking suck. Like yep. that's literally, that's literally the mentality around this. And, and yeah. honestly, by that time, your body kind of needs it anyway. So yeah. it's like more of that, like, I wanted a better selfishly lifestyle for myself to be able to hold a better conditioning and still not be like the dude that's the outlier that no one wants to be around, never has fun. Instead, it flipped kind of like you said about your buddy that got you into this. I would be at events looking crazy and eating the craziest because that's the only time they really saw me, which they didn't know that was my strategy. Like, how the fuck are you getting away with this? Yeah, it was, you know, so it's like I almost flipped it on its head. And yep. if you can get to that point, there's there's a whole another opportunity out there where I think you have like a moderation um, and, and a real strategy. And, and back to your mental part of it, I think it does. I, I made a little bit of mistakes leading, I think, with that mostly for a while. And I think people, they, they uncover that as they're in the process. Like some people are coming for that. But I would say more people are coming because they want to lose 15 or 20 pounds. Yeah. They realize that they're tapping into the mental part after they've already uncovered some other stuff. And they yeah. realize, wait, my confidence is there. Wait, I actually am curious about this and I want to listen to this podcast or book or whatever it is. And they start to feel that they're sharpening all of these, you know, kind of swords. And the reality is though, um, I, I'm almost kind of leading them that way and they can uncover that during the process. And then it becomes one of their more favorite things. I, I believe that it, that does evolve that way. Um, but I started to kind of back off, like only going at that because some people just don't want to hear it. They're not ready to hear it yet. You For sure. I mean? Wow. So anyway, yeah. that's been, but this is, uh, once again, this is kind of, uh, you know, the reason why I want to get more content with real life, actual members of Corey G Fitness, Max Upper Mafia that are gotten these type of results and that are impacting their people around them because I just think there's a ton of value on it. Uh, I got a couple quick questions. So I agree. What's your uh, what's your favorite muscle group to train? Leg, I love leg day. I love that leg day, man. I've man, I just I tell you what, I the, the more uh, more you hurt me on leg day, the more I love it. So <laughs> there's, a, there's a huge. I mean, obviously the lunges and any of the leg work. It, it also is what keeps us young. By the way, it's yeah. the biggest hormone driver. You know, my grandfather just told me, and I'll just never forget this. He said, once I lost my legs, I felt like I lost like uh, a different level of life. And I think keeping your yeah. legs strong is, I mean, that is a main driver for our, our longevity, obviously. Yeah. I heard you talking about that with Danny and I was like, Hey, look at that. That's, that's good. And I, so the flip side is I hate, I, I always dislike bench press cause it was so weak for me. So I've been, I've been trying to focus harder on that. And so like the volume been doing and seeing the results with that, like close grip and stuff, man, yeah. kudos, like, cause three, three uh, wheels is a big goal of mine. And at 43, it's a lot harder to do. <laughs> Yeah, that, though. I'm hoping by it's a goal by the end of the year. It's uh, so I've been I've been pushing a lot harder, trying to incorporate a little more tricep work on top. So yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. Well, if you can you can rock 315, that's a big goal. Yeah, well, that's that's why. <laughs> that's what we do. Of, listen. There's not a lot of baseball guys um, that are great benchers early because they've you guys stay away from that a lot because of throwing. And so I don't know if it was as big of a deal when you were younger, but like my baseball guys, close grip everything. We don't do a ton of chess work. They just they just don't feel right. If you know, that's the first thing my son did when he was done playing baseball. Blew his chest up, incline all the time. Chest <laughs> blew up because he kind of got a little bit of genes in the chest department, and so I can yeah. see it on him immediately once he started training it. That was his first thing. He's like, oh yeah, because we we really it was, he was a primarily a, a PO, so mm-hmm. he was only pitching, and so I couldn't I, like yeah. jam him up. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, say I don't have a great body type for a big bench press either, but hey, we, we could push every ounce out of it I can. <laughs> for sure. What's um what's your favorite either flavor or products um that you've used at Max Effort? So the- Arnie Arnie Palmer all day, baby. Arnie Palmer. All Arnie Palmer right. all day. Like I, I was a sucker for the old Arizona Arnold Palmers already before I hooked up with you and when I saw that Arnold Palmer Amino, man, that was a wrap. Um and I will uh so I Usually, all my uh, pre workouts, man, I took to the dome for the longest time mm-hmm. just so I could, I didn't have to wait that 30 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> uh, a lot of times I do my workouts on lunch breaks. So uh, I'm trying yeah, to get in good. 
get in, get out. Let's get those. Let's get that feeling really fast. Uh, but that uh, sour watermelon I did last time, yeah, that was like a Jolly Rancher. That's so good. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. So, uh, but I mean, I really don't. <laughs> Maybe I'll sound like a big shill for you, but I don't have a, a non-favorite, you no, know. That's good. I'll take it. <laughs> like this, the s'mores is my favorite protein when it comes out. That's what I'm drinking. That's my lunch. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Two scoops in there. Uh, hey, hey, so. Small Arms Danny's over there going, yep, that'll go in an email. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So that, the, that s'mores one is phenomenal. Even my wife, she's a huge s'mores fan, so she likes that. Um, but I, I don't do protein all the time. I've been I've been kind of doing after the contest, trying to do a little bit more of a main gaining type deal. So that's another another thing I'd give some advice to these people jumping in is, is you, you don't have to look like us twenty four seven. Like I don't look like that now from that picture. I'll be I'm trying to get I'm about to the point where I'm gonna. That's why the shake for lunch. I'm trying to get back into another cut phase. Okay. Um, yeah, but you're you know. doing it intentionally right now. Yeah, that's the difference. So that's like, what you learn. That's what yeah, you learn. Exactly. You learn that, and that's a uh, you know. So that's what I tell people a lot of times too. They're like, "There's no way I could stay looking like that." I said, "That result from my contest isn't what I walk around looking like. <laughs> like that's yeah, a week of basically like reason of that. That's a massive win." Yeah. So I'm like, but I can still see my abs. I, you know, people can tell I'm I'm active and working out, and that, you know, so it's just determine what you what result you want. You don't, I mean, six packs of abs are awesome, but how many people actually walk around with them every day, you, yeah. you know? So if you, if you can see your abs and you're within 10, 15% of body weight, man, you're so far ahead of so many people out there and your life is going to be so much better. You're going to be able to do so much more things. Like, it's like, man, I'm out jumping on trampoline with my niece and nephew's kids. So technically it would be my grandkids, right? At this point. Yeah. No, but none of my other brothers are out there and I'm like, Hey guys, maybe you should come join me. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, well, so, it feels good because you can really, truly, honestly, uh, just have a different whole life if you're if you're in shape and, and take part yeah. in this thing. Then I, I'm able to do things, and Dustin and I talk about this a lot too. Like we're just able to do things with our kids as they're older that other you know dads aren't able to be, to do. Yeah, and it's and it is a different a different way to parent. It, it feels yeah. uh, feels different for sure. Oh yeah, and it's, and it's exciting. I agree. Sorry, man. I'm a mid, I'm a Midwesterner, so I'll go on tangents all day long. So you, if you need to wrangle me in, no, no. I need some great information. Um, Billy, talk about um, you know. Look, you've been on the app for a while. Like, what are some of the things that um, you know? Whether it's a new a new person or just somebody just trying to get back going again, what are some of the things you could kind of advise them on? Like you just said, hey, I'm about to, I'm I'm going back to the busy diet. Is that strategy maybe to kind of get things back in line? Like. You know, what are what are some of the things like you would kind of just recommend? Like they're watching along. They wish they could get these results. They kind of get some results. But like, what's the you know, what's some advice for those people? I mean, it goes back to what I what I said earlier is just start. Just start with something. If if I can get them onto your app, I mean, for the amount of value that the Corey G Fitness app for what I pay for your app, I, I don't want to say it, but I feel like I'm robbing you. Because oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I was well, out there a long time. You ain't robbing me. <laughs> Hey, so I, because I, I messed with some other ones and they, they didn't, I didn't like it. Like I was on one where they were like, go fitness pal and track all this and da da da. And like, that's, that was like work. Yeah. So, and then like, so find a program that works with you and, 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 and stick with it. At least give it the time. Like you can't do a week and be like, yeah, that didn't work. Like give it the time it's due. So like, if you're going to jump on, I would, I mean, if I was just starting, the what I would advise people to do is jump on those pump thirties. Yes, I would. I would do the pump thirty. You, everybody's got thirty minutes in your day. Like, yes. if you tell me you don't have time for thirty minutes to do a workout, bullshit. You're making excuses. You just I don't. Love this guy. <laughs> <laughs> like, and, and try, I've used it. I mean, I posted on there before. Like. There's been days where just stuff, it because, and that's one of the things why I get why you guys do the early morning, because there ain't nothing happening. And yeah. so that was the nice thing. But like, so, but I've used it when I'm like, this day is crazy, but I got to get this workout. I'm getting it, bam, 30 minutes. Like, that's a, that's not even a full lunch break for most people. No. You know, and then in time, ability, so, like, my plan was with my skill set to be able to make it still difficult even for a guy that's as in shape as you are. Oh man. You know I mean, it's still challenge you. And, and I think that we hit that on the head because the pumps are crazy. You did, you did, man. That, uh, so like Friday for the arm workout, I was like, you know what? I just feel like doing, 
I just feel like doing the 30 minute pump. So, yeah. and then I saw everybody posting too in the morning about how crazy that a thousand reps was and whoo, they were crazy. Like <laughs> I feel this is like, man, I, I, <laughs> I loved it. It was great. But that's like, you get to that point though, too, man. And uh, that's why I was telling somebody the other day about that. Um, I actually sent a couple to my nephew. Sorry. Oh, you're good. Because he, he was like, hey, I'm interested in those pumps. He's been, those 30 minutes. Are they really good? I was like, oh, you want me to just send you a couple? So I sent him a whole week's yeah. worth. And uh, he's like, man, I couldn't even get it all through. I said, you don't need to. Like, do this to the time limit. Move on, man. Just get that 30 minutes. Otherwise, you get to, like, that's where a lot of people, I think, fail is they, they get to a point where they they think they have to put so much time into it. Like, I mean, it's, it's talking with my dad right now with having, he's had knee surgeries and he's retired and all that. And, you know, he got, I mean, he's obviously not, and he's retired, yeah. <laughs> you know, he wasn't a guy that was a big fitness, huge guy either. Like he didn't pass it on to us. I'm like, dad, just start walking the block. Like, just start there. Just move. Yeah. I said, you got to move. There's no, you won't get any better if you don't move. Uh, so that's my biggest advice to people, man, is just start with something and, and give it the time to see the result. Um, and then on top of that, I would probably most people I'd start probably on the AF 101. Um, that was the best thing for me because I didn't feel like I was going hungry, you know, where That's with the 21 busy problem. diet, the 21 busy diet, when I flipped to that, I just knew what I wanted. Yep. So I didn't care if I had hunger pangs. Cause like that was me working towards that goal. I wanted, you're going to have some pain. Yeah. So, yeah you're right. You knew so I knew that. Before. Yeah. I knew that process already. And I knew how to handle that if it hit me. You know, I knew that, Hey, you know what? I'll just see, drink up some more aminos. Like yep. I got my gallon of water to drink. It's going to fill my stomach up. It's like I knew how to battle that, but coming in when I first started, if I probably would have jumped into something like that, that that's why I feel like a lot of times those slim fast and all those quick fixes, yep. there's no such thing as a quick fix. I tell people too, you know, so like you have to give that time. So that's that would be where I'd start at. I'd start with the pump 30 and uh, the AF 101, you know, get a good cheat meal on Friday. Yeah, yeah. See where you're at. Well, I think that's reasonable, right? Um, an ex-athlete or non-athlete that can do 30 minutes on training, if you can add some conditioning, that's a plus. If you want to lunge, you know, 100 meters to get it started and yeah. you go AF 101, it can be a real successful, I think, kind of starting process for sure. And I like that. I think this. I think you've offered, honestly, Billy, a lot of really good insights for people that are trying to go from zero to one and are just kind of trying to get rolling. And, and once again, that's... You know, I think sometimes I'm preaching the same stuff and we look like maniacs and there's such a, a layer between that because it's my job and I've been doing it for so long and it's like, but the community has some people that are killers, bro, that are in crazy yeah. shape like yourself. And I want to be able to showcase that this is not just me and us here, that there's people all around the world that are getting results this way that have dialed in um, that aren't doing it for their job. You know, what I mean, that, yeah. but this is a lifestyle they've been able to keep. So, yeah. Anything else you want to share with the community, Billy? Why you got the platform or anything? I, anything you can ask me, I can I can help you with. Yeah, yeah. So to talk on what you talk about too is uh, there are so many. The Max Effort Mafia is a real deal. Like the Corey G Fitness, uh, the G's, I call them. They're out there, man. And and, and this, the G Social man has kept me off of other social medias even more. But like the community that's there, like I truly feel like I got real friendships out of that and I haven't even met them face to face. I mean, champion last year, Mr. Dalton, shout out. Uh, awesome. That dude, I hit top 25 last year. I don't think I would have without him. Mm -hmm. um, and don't, don't even know that. That put a bad taste in my mouth for this year. So that kind of was a, a little bit of a fire. So it's a blessing and a curse, right? Yeah. Uh, and then again, continuing, like, and I mean, me and Danny, we were sending messages to each other. We're liking each other's posts. You know, I, I couldn't be happier to see the guys that won because I know what they did. I know how hard we all work. So even to be, even if you didn't place, like, if you saw that change, you won. Like, yeah. don't get me wrong. When I saw my picture in third place, I, there was a little bit of like a, uh, but yeah. also reflect, and I was really, I mean, I'm really, really proud of that. Uh, you so should be really proud of it. Thank, thanks. <laughs> and the money cleared, right? It, it cleared. Thanks, yeah, man. I'm with you. <laughs> it, missed, it was missing one zero, though, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you're hoping for that other zero. I, I, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but it, hey, Danny crushed it. Like I, I give credit where credit's due. I mean, that's that's part of the competitor in me too. You know, it's like if, if I was to come back next year, I, I mean, I, I probably would be in better shape starting again too. That was kind of the goal 
also this this contest this year. So telling the the social, you know, the group is, don't think you got to be. I mean, transformations are all kinds of different walks of life and everything. And I, yep. I didn't want to be sloppy and feeling bad again. So I was like, that's not the route. So don't don't think that's what it is and what it takes. Um, no, because you did it exactly from where you were to the best you could be in that possible period of time. And it was amazing. And you got rewarded for it. For yeah, there's a, my wife asked me to do it and I'm glad she did. Cause um, after the contest was over, she said, do you have the one from last year, the before and after? Mm-hmm. And I was actually, so from the previous contest to this year's contest, I think I was actually about eight pounds heavier, but I looked way more jacked and cut. I'm sure. You know, so All like the volume, base, bro. Yeah, all that volume, all that base you're putting down there, man. It that is when when they use that analogy of the foundation put in place, it makes a big difference. It does, man, because that furnace is always burning on there. You just gotta throw a little more on it. Yeah. Um, s- some questions for you though is like, uh, I feel like at my age, man, I I keep surprising myself. You know, I'm I'm out here representing the forty year old club. Yeah, of course. Uh, you know, and times against us all, but like, uh, what advice would you have for like, uh, looking like I've been trying to think about challenging myself in a powerlifting meet, but I don't even know where to start to look or where they're at. Um, where do you live, Billy? I'm in Michigan. Yep. All right. Well, I want to hold that against you. That's cool. But <laughs> not a Michigan fan. Okay. 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 <laughs> don't, give, don't give me that. I'm a uh, seven North and Notre Dame. Let's go Irish Danny. Oh, Danny. Oh yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh, fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, um, I think it would be really cool is, yeah, to have a date on a calendar, find a local meet, you know, just go in the raw division, which would be, you know, most times belt knee wraps. Um, I don't want to give too many, uh, uh, too many secrets away yet, but that's, that, this is part of what we're working on here is okay. unique events that involve the community. There's Danny for you. He's flexing at you. <laughs> is that, you know, I want to be able to hold um, things that are for us, right? For the mafia to be able to create experiences like that at old school. So those are things that we're working on that would be for our community. But the reality is, is that it would be, you're easy for you to find a local meet to to roll to and, and to be able to go in and there's enough information or we could, you know, we could post things on, hey, these are the commands, these are things that you could do. But this also just contributes more to like the kind of process I'm, that I'm working on that, you know, that we could hold a members only meet at old school gym for guys like yourself that want to have that experience that need to be in an environment that will have the proper help. And that could come come and actually test your three lifts in the environment um, where the guys are here, the 4M guys are helping. We've had so many great meets in old school gyms uh, history, but it'd be really cool if those meets were literally our community. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's one of the ideas that I had kind of kind of worked through and I'm working on. But yeah, I would definitely set, um, you could just continue to follow and get stacked, set yourself a, a date on the calendar and literally show up and just be a beginner, dude. I, everyone has to do it once, right? You go and you don't yeah. know where you sit. You don't know where to put your bag. <laughs> you don't know what, you don't know how the fucking flights work. Like it's all of that, right? Yeah. Um, but it is encouraging. And uh, for any competitive athlete, as soon as I knew it was a thing, you know, Dustin and I did our first powerlifting. It was a bench only meet, and we were like 17. And we were like, wait, this is a thing. Like, I mean, I, I, I could not do it ever since then, basically, just yeah. to be able to compete in something like that. It just adds another layer. You know what I mean? And you will continue to surprise yourself um, because now your expectation of what your day to day is is completely different, Billy. Like, I don't really think of my age that often, honestly. And I never really have because I didn't even start squatting every day till I was like 37. Like, I mean, wow. okay. You know, it, yeah, it was wild. I mean, it was like in, you know, 12 or 13 when i started doing that stuff within kind of when i was creating that content with muscle farm and that you know i was already i didn't even start mp till i was in my you know i was 30. so it's like a lot of these things happened kind of later in in my career and i just did a photo shoot at 45. so to me it's like as long as crushed it too yeah yeah it felt good i'm excited to see what it looks (laughs) i wish i i'm just gonna say i wish i still had an extra month i didn't but it just is what it is they seem like they were happy but that's just the expectation of myself, right? But the, the reality is I think you still should push things like this. And I just listened to the guy who started the carnivore diet, which, you know, is debatable. People love it or dislike it. But Sean Baker is going to be 60. And his yeah. goal, he went over his goal list, Dr. Sean Baker. And he was like, 
I, he's kind of tall and got some long arms, so I don't think this would be crazy. Yeah, he's, he's like, a big old dude anyway. Yeah, he's like, I still want to be able to dunk a basketball. I still want to be able to deadlift 600. You know, he said he was drug free. Like, I'm thinking like this dude still got goals. He just created and did some like world record on some rowing machine thing. Like, it's just like he's finding stuff. And, and I think the more you have those things, which is why I like the contest that we have here, why I think it'd be great for you to do a meet locally. I, I just think, yeah, all of those things are going to contribute to having the life that, that, that you want, man. So, yeah, that's what I would yeah. do for sure. Any other questions I can help you with? Well, I was going to ask why, uh, why I didn't win, but that's just a selfish question. So, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> It was perfect. Man. I was glad. Um, I was really glad you did the 40, 80 day this year. Um, cause, uh, we had a, went on our first cruise this year and that 40 day lined up perfectly with it. And like, uh, I, I didn't know if I had a, I, I could have done the 80 days. I shouldn't say that. I don't want to say that I, I would have pushed the 80 days. Don't, but, uh, I knew going on that cruise, I coming back from it probably wouldn't set me up very well for the rest of it. But yeah. Because I was like, this is my first one. I'm, yeah, I was like, I'm gonna, first one, I'm going to go out and enjoy it. So, uh, which actually came back looking pretty damn good. I wish I would have just kept on with the contest. But uh, uh, one other thing I forgot to mention is I did uh, I did act, add some extras this year um, because of seeing all the, the guys out there um, doing the miles for last time and everything. They're still doing it, which good good for them. Yeah. <laughs> I've done it a few times and uh, it takes me quite a while to recover from that. I don't know how they do it every week, but uh, I did a couple of those and I was like, that ain't working for me. So I started doing basically your like uh, your cardio model slash uh, cardio oh, shreds. Yeah, program. Yeah. So I started doing minute one. Yeah, but I started doing it at 30 minutes. So I do my lunges. I do the 800 meters because, man, if you really want to cut, definitely hit at least 800 meters. Like, yep dead serious because 400 will maintain you all day long but if you want to cut that body fat and really see it burning but then i did 30 minute inclines with a 20 pound weighted vest i would either do that first thing in the morning before i started work or i'd do it at the end of the day um that was pretty nice that it was really easier to recover from yep. and that's what this that's what this all does too man that's like i talked about you give the tools and then we learn from it you start learning about your body you learn what works for you you make those adjustments and uh i just thank you for all that man you made a big difference in my life i know you probably love hearing that stuff like i when people tell me those things <laughs> no 100 percent. because at the, at the end of the day billy it's like you know it makes you continue to want to keep pushing right that the yeah. impact there that it's making a difference and i was at a conference last week and i had some people saying some really nice things like that which is always good to hear because it's just it's just feedback, real world feedback, man. At the end of the day, like I, I couldn't stop doing this if I tried. I love it. I love being here to lift. I love helping the kids. I love, you know, what we're building here. And so like when you get that type of feedback, I think it just continues to help the push and, and the consistency be, you know, like what it is. Cause hey, we're machines, but there's also that element of, you know, what it is. So I think all of that contributes to all of us being and continuing on the path. So I really appreciate the time, Billy. It was awesome. Yeah. Congratulations, dude. One thing I forgot. So yeah. I'm, I'm keeping you. I'm sorry. I got You're you. Good. You're fine. <laughs> I, I, I so, run my own schedule. I can do whatever I want. Go ahead. I've noticed on, uh, I forgot all about this. I was going to ask this earlier when you were talking about my pictures and stuff is like, I noticed when I take my befores and afters and all that, I never get that, that cut in my quads or my legs. I feel like a, that's, it's always like, and I don't like, I was proud. I mean, that was probably the lowest body fat percentage I've ever been. And I still couldn't see that. Like, so I don't know. Like, is there something different I should be doing? Like, or is that a big hole to go down? <laughs> a lot of it is because if you were lunging the whole time, you had too much blood in your legs. Like, okay. A lot of times, like before the bodybuilding shows, we would do not do legs up to like, not any the most recent ones, but like when I was only doing bodybuilding before I started lunging, I wouldn't touch legs for like 10, 12 days out. Oh, okay. So it lets all of the blood kind of get out of them, tighten up. And then if for some reason it's just like clearly like, because you're thinking about this, you, the way we program is mostly around the bigger lifts, the compound stuff. It's squats, it's lunges. It's not, uh, there is obviously leg extensions, some of that other stuff in there. But the reality is like to really sharpen down, it could be a combination of a little bit of sprint work. If that's, if this is something that like you need, like that extra, a little sprint work more leg extensions, a little less of the heavier stuff, and then making sure you back off like eight or 10 days. It's probably like a combination of that. I just know when my legs were the strongest, and even when I was the leanest, my quads didn't maybe match 
at least in my case, like what my abs look like. They always look fuller and denser, but I think it was because of the training style. Squatting heavy, we're lunging all the time. It doesn't really contribute, unless your body type is already that way. I don't know that it contributes to what you're saying. So it might be like a little, if you're gonna do a bodybuilding show, you would probably get a more shredded look in your legs by the incline walk than you're going from the lunges. Oh. So it's like you've already built the mass and the thickness and probably like the ski slopes, right? If you went and said, I'm gonna do 60 days on the, 60 minutes on the incline rather than the lunges, th they would probably be there because it's more of like a, just, a, just a, a more longer duration, like kind of conditioning thing and less, because lunging is more like, the con we do it as conditioning, but it's really still lifting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Which is why yeah. I like it much better than everything else. So that's probably where that, that's like why it felt that way. Okay. So it was good. That um, makes sense. Billy, awesome. Thanks. Absolutely. I think I gave everybody enough time to get through a whole mile of lunges listening to this. So No, for sure. It's great. So, <laughs> all right, make sure you guys share this with your friends. Billy, congratulations. Thank you for the time. I appreciate the support at Core G Fitness and Max Ever Muscle. You the man, bro. You, you guys, you gave us some bangers to use on emails out of this thing, dude. All right. Thanks. All right. See you, brother.